What's going on everybody? Nick Wyatt here with Wyatt and Dad Cobbler Company and today is the very first episode of Boot History where we take a deep dive into some of our favorite boots and give you some interesting information you might want to know the next time you want to add a new or vintage pair of boots to your collection. And in part two of each one of these we're going to be breaking down, recrafting, and reimagining what some of these boots can look like. But before we take too deep of a dive into these boots, let's roll that montage. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, when the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately bombed by the Empire of Japan. Powerful words said by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt on the attacks at Pearl Harbor 80 years ago today. This is one of the most consequential moments in all of the 20th century, leading to U.S. boots on the ground in places like Guadalcanal, Iwo Jima, and eventually, on June 6th, 1944, Normandy, France. And that's what I want to talk about today, my Alan Edmonds Normandy Boots, a vintage World War II style boot that's an homage to the types of boots that the troops would have been wearing in Normandy, France and in the Pacific Theater by the United States Marines in World War II. Now, I've looked through countless photos of the different types of boots that paratroopers, that ground infantry units, that United States Marines were wearing at the time. And while this isn't a direct recreation, it's very similar and it gives you that cool World War II vintage kind of look that you can get. Now, I've been wearing these things for about six or seven years now. And as you can see, they've developed a lot of character, that beautiful patina that only age and wear will really do. Now, these things have gotten much more comfortable over time. They were a little stiff when I first got them, as a lot of boots are. They have a full leather midsole, a full 360 degree leather welt, and they originally had a full leather sole that I've still got on here, but I've had recrafted several times. But I also wanted to give it more of that World War II military look. So what I did is I put a Vibram lug sole guard and a lug heel on here. It moves it a little bit away from that dress style kind of in-between boot that these things really populate and it moves a little bit more towards a heritage boot. Now, unfortunately, Alan Edmonds no longer makes these boots. I know, I know, it breaks my heart as well. However, you can get factory seconds still. The only difference that they've got in the factory seconds relative to the ones that I got when I got these about six or seven years ago is that instead of having the full leather sole that they put on here, is they've got a leather midsole and they've got a lug sole that goes all the way across. Now you can get those things recrafted, pull those lug soles off if that's not your style. You can always put the leather sole on there. You can dress these up, dress these down. I prefer to dress these down just a little bit. They give me something I can wear in a pair of jeans. I can go to work in them or I can dress up, toss on a blazer. And I've gotten tons and tons of compliments about these. And when I talk to people about the history and how these are a World War II vintage recreation of the boots that the U.S. troops were wearing back then, people absolutely fall in love with them. There's something about World War II that captivates all of us, myself included. Now, these are a far cry from the type of boots that U.S. troops are wearing today. Now, today I've also brought in my Marine Corps issued boots that even have the EGA on the side of them. Now, while these are highly functional, they're waterproof, they're Gore-Tex, they you know, serve for a lot of different operations, mostly desert operations, they're not really ones that you can wear and uh, you know, have that cool vintage look that you want, but I just wanted to use them as a comparison to the types of boots that troops were wearing back in 1944, 1945 versus today. Now, these things are highly functional, they work really great, but not something I'd want to wear with a pair of jeans. Now, back in World War II, U.S. troops stormed the beaches of Normandy. They fought on the islands of the Pacific, in the sands, and in the jungles, and in the Battle of the Bulge, they had to endure cold, wet conditions. Now, the one thing that absolutely could not fail them was their boots. And clearly, Alan Edmonds thought about this when they were constructing these boots. All the panels of the upper have three rows of stitches. They have that 360 degree welt that we talked about before. They've got that leather inner sole, a leather midsole, and the leather outsole all glued and stitched together really well. Now, while I would not recommend storming the beaches of Normandy or fighting through the Battle of the Bulge, I think they can handle just about anything that you'd like to throw at them. 
if you're looking for something in that World War II vintage style to add to your boot collection, I could not recommend the Allen Edmonds Normandy enough. I absolutely love these things. They only get more comfortable over time, and they're a great piece of conversation for when you want to tell someone a cool little anecdote about the history behind these boots. Now, as a huge fan of World War II, it's obvious to me why I would want to wear them, but I couldn't recommend them enough, even if you're not into the World War II history behind them. They're fantastic boots. They can be dressed up. They can be dressed down. And in part two of this, we're going to be tearing these things all the way down, bringing them back to life, adding some new cool World War II style accents. So stay tuned and check out part two of the Allen Edmonds Normandy boots. Hey there friends, thanks for checking out our videos and watching the very first episode of Boot History. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little bell so you can get alerts when new videos come up like the second episode of our Alan Edmund Normandy's Recraft so you can see just what we're going to be doing here. We've got all sorts of Recraft, Review, and new content coming all the time. So remember to follow along and we'll see you next time.